Are you tired of frustrating FPS drops ruining your Fortnite experience? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix FPS drops instantly in Fortnite Chapter 2. Remix and unlock max FPS for smoother gameplay. These simple tweaks will help you to get max performance. So let's dive in and boost those frames right now. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games, using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description. And play your game with lower ping. Go for the device manager and find out uh, device, system devices options here, which you can see here, system devices. Scroll down and find out the high precision event time blur, which is guys, uh, the HP ET, and guys, it scores also the low GPU usage and also uh, lose a huge part of your uh, performance of your pc when you enable out uh, this option by default it is enabled here are a lot of options to so just click on to disable this device and guys it is disabled here i am already used uh, this software by just simply disabling out it and guys it is giving me the best performance go for the uh, advanced with some settings go into the settings of the performance now just select out for the adjust for the best performance and from here you need to just select out the show thumbnail instead of the icons show shadows under the windows and also smooth the edges of the screen fonts and just simply apply out the settings so guys first of all you need to download this fortnite fps boost pack on your pc and you can find it on my official website for the link in the description and here is the some registry optimizations file for the gaming for your all the stack of your pc for your cpu gpu memory ram network everything so guys let's go and install this just too fast so i simply double click here and just click yes click yes again click ok and do the same for all these registry files on your pc <laughs> And next here is the program folder where we have these three program on this boost pack which is for your RAM optimizations, for the CPU optimization and for the GPU optimizations. And you can find it on my official website through the link in the description. So guys, here is the interface of the M3 RAM booster software. So what you need to do, first of all guys, here you will find out this option which is the system information. Here is my old guys RAM information which I have the 16 GB of the RAM. Go for the second tab which is the system speed up so guys follow all of my settings click on the disable and the ff last access update and check mark on the cpu tweaks which is the boost foreground application which is running in the front of your screen like your game or any kind of software which you are running so simply check mark on this option then check mark on the automatic and running task and follow all of my d settings then click on this apply value and apply these settings on your pc then go for the next option which is the options tab now here guys you need to follow all of these settings carefully for optimizing your ram so here you will find out the automatic optimize if ram re is below mb so you need to type here 2500 and follow all of these my value into the same guys location on also on their pc in the software so guys once you do it now check mark here onto this option which is the load on windows startup and guys leave these options then hit on the apply button and apply all the settings on their pc so as once you do it now simply close out the software this will keep running in your background but guys make sure to run the software as the administrator when you turn on otherwise if you not it's cp optimizations and this is the part controller one of the best software for it and you can find it on my official website through the link in the description so here is the interface so what setting you need to do that is guys cpu settings for the power profile guys you need to select the bit some high performance for this power plant for the software click on the may activate Set all these options or disable, select all this slider on this 100%, hit apply, check mark onto the Bridgesome Dynamic Boost Enable. You will get this option, select out the Bridgesome High Performance. Again from this list, click OK. Click OK again and guys here we are done with our park controller and this will keep running in your background whenever guys you turn on your PC. Next here is software which is the throttle stop and this is guys the best software for GPU optimization. You can find it on my official website for the link in the description. And guys here is the interface of this software. So guys what settings you need to do here guys first of all you'll find out here this option which is the performance. So you need to select this option onto the gaming then check mark onto the high performance and also follow all of the settings on their PC. Then click on this turn on options and now simply guys minimize the software and this will also keep running here in your background whenever guys you turn on your PC. If it is not so guys make sure to run this software on your background before playing the Fortnite or launching your Fortnite. So guys must you do this setting. Now here is the last step of this video which is guys actually up to my viewer. Fortnite in-game settings so guys you need to open this PC go for the drive where you have installed your Fortnite so I have installed here into my this program file on my C drive 
go for the epic game fortnite fortnite games binary bins before and this is the drive where we have guys installed over fortnite and this is the all the exe file or the launcher file of the fortnite go for the properties of your these files one by one go for the compatibility option check mark on the disable full screen optimizations and go for the change high dpi and also check mark onto this option click ok hit apply click ok and do the same settings for your all these files i have already guys done these settings on my pc once you do guys simply close out it now just simply one time restart your pc because the settings which we have done on our pc that will be take effect after restarting your pc so well let's restart our pc and jump into the fortnite and test out the fps in battle royale